Hey, hey, hey! Buenos dias, happy people. I'm Robert Arrington. This is deer meat for dinner. And me and old Alejandro Villanueva are about to go smash some tunas. We've also got our backup plan. He's coming out of the bullpen. This is Brito Mas Grande. He's got him a Koa spear gun and he's got a hair trigger, you guys. This is the scoop. Yesterday we had like a tropical storm come through here. We got like eight inches of rain and it's windier than we expect. Hopefully the ocean's not too rough, but we don't really care. We've got spear guns, we got ballyhoo, and we got high hopes. You are riding shotgun. Let's go. Whammy! We right now have a lot more wind than I wish we did, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna fight through it. And uh, hopefully it's not too rough. The inlet's probably gonna be a little scary. You guys, if you come to Guatemala, you wanna fish with this man. This is Lon, and I love him. He is a fish magnet. Ready. his entire life and he understands that inlet better than anybody so we waited until we had our shot and we took it now we're heading offshore the, the forecast has the ocean getting calmer by the day like the wind should start dying down uh, we'll see should be a great day y'all pressure shark So these guys are local commercial fishermen. They're running long lines trying to catch mai mahi or dorado as they would call them. But if you can see, they've got a thresher shark right on the bar. That's pretty cool. Hey, paso. Dang. Al, ask them how, how many days have they been out here? Like how long do they spend out here? Monday. Today is Sunday. Harry, Harry, they, <laughs> these boys have been on that boat for a week. They've been out here for a week on that boat. Cuando days más? So to me, I love culture. I love people. So whenever I saw them, I was like, hey, let's go say hey. So we pulled up, said hey. Hey, they got a fish right there. There's a fish jumping right there. There we go. Bait numero uno. What do we have? Oh, we got a bunch of bait. Real, 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 all the way down to the top. There you go. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about right here. Look at that big fat healthy. There we go. Oh, he just got eight! He got eight as soon as he hit the water! Oh my god! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> hey! Get up there. There's more there. Grab, uh, grab there. There's another pitch bait. Hey. Listen, no. There's a couple big ones in here. Like big, big ones. Oh, here we go. Come on. A uh, little baby one. That's okay, real man. That's bait. Oh no, there you go. It's a little bigger one. I love these rods. Oh, he came off. 
I mean, dude, what a day, bro. Nice. Way to go, Peter. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Here it goes. Wait a second. I think I got it. No, 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 I got this beat. And we're on again. <laughs> hey, what y'all know about that? We totally were not here to catch mahi. We were here to catch tuna. I but, was here to catch mahi. But you know what happens whenever whenever an opportunity presents itself, time to get tight. Oh, look at him Come, coming around. When we were kids, I was like 16, 17, 18 years old. Robert was, you know, I don't know, 9, 10, 11. We'd load up in our old sea craft, run 20, 30 miles offshore, down in the Keys and just bail dolphin as kids. I, to this day, I don't think there's a fish I'd rather catch. Obviously, big tunas, big marlin are all awesome, but dolphin are so sustainable, you don't feel guilty harvesting them. They're beautiful and they taste delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Way to go, Alejandro! I've done this before. Come on, Alejandro, come get him! No, 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 you guys can get him. No, Ollie, come on! Come on, let's go! There you go. Yes! I did not want him gaffing my fish. The fish looks like a minnow next to him. <laughs> I love it. We'll be eating good tonight. Listen, this is super duper important. Yeah. When this is fire, you're gonna see the F, yeah. that means fire. You're gonna hold this and literally aim right down it and just try to shoot him right behind the head, right in the middle of the body, in the forward part. They're gonna come to us, just, just one right up here, trust me. That's plenty close enough. one. Hang on to him.
Hey, to my mind, that ain't bad. That's awesome. Dude. This is the best. Unbelievable. Look at this. Beautiful fish. Yo, my man. I tell you, when you come to Guatemala, don't expect anything. Just go have a good time because you can never expect what you're going to see. I mean, I don't even know what that is, but there are my my Dorado big ones swimming all over the place. Don't get no better than that. Oh, incredible. Water's super green, but they don't mind. I think the cameraman needs to get in. Eh, whatever. Super important when you're here, always have a spinning rod rigged up. One with a popper, one with just a monofilament leader and a hook because whether you find tunas or my my, whatever, a spinning rod is so much fun. Oh, come on. Pick him up, swing him over there. No. Swing him over there. Yep. Oh, there, let him. Snap it out and feed it to him. Snap it out and feed it to him. Just pitch it right out there. Reel your bait in, they want chunks. Reel your bait in. Reel it in. Just trust me, reel it in, we're gonna give them this. Just let it sit, let it sit. When he eats it, let him take it. Flip your bail, keep your bail open. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Yeah, let yeah. It go, let it go. Yeah. Now flip your bail and just come tight. Oh my God, that's a giant. This is the monster. Ah! Dude, we have a giant on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude! It looks prehistoric! Don't just... Alejandro! <sighs> Breathe. What are you thinking? I just, you know, try not to mess it up right now. This is probably the biggest fish I've ever seen in the ocean. <laughs> oh! Oh! Bro, that is a gigantic fish. When he's running, you let him run. Yep. There you go, just gently, when you, they're gonna ease him back. Go ahead, good, good. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a long time until you see a dolphin bigger than this. No, for sure. You got a very, very light line. Yeah. Can we put this up here? Just remember, it's just super light. Every, every, the leader's light, everything's light. Oh, you see that turtle? That's a sea turtle. Look at the sea turtle, you guys. Coming to watch a fight. Come right back here into the corner. Yep. Only thing is, let's say, let's say he gets up and gets around this, this, uh, 
thing on the surface, yeah. you will have to literally go to free spool on them to get around it because any any tension, it'll break them off. Yep. I know you haven't caught the fish yet, but how do you like the rod? Does it feel good? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I just really want to use it for, for light tackle, snook. But the fact that we could be here in the ocean with this monster of a mahi, uh, tunas, very versatile rod, all salty. Amazing rig. Hopefully it can deliver today. You guys ever wonder what a freaking all pro offensive tackle looks like from the back? It's massive. Looks like he's got shoulder pads on, but he doesn't. <laughs> Alejandro Villanueva! Robert, I'm, I'm at work now, man. We're just, on the home team's gotta keep it quiet. <laughs> So always think of pressure against pressure is not good. So when he's pulling, you let him pull. Yep. When he slows down, then you pull. But pressure against pressure creates muy problemas. Muchos. Mucho problemas? Muchos. Okay, mucho problemas. Muchos. Always in the game here, Alejandro has been teaching me proper Spanish on this trip. Me gusta mucho. Hey, if y'all break this fish up, I'm gonna come over there and saw that boat in half. He's still got a ton of life in him. Yeah? Yeah. But he didn't make a 100 yard run, so that's good. Now we're gonna drive and we're gonna cut, the, we're gonna cut him off right here. Keep the pressure on him just yep. right now. Lead him right to the gaff. Whenever I tell you to, you're just gonna take a step back. Yep. Oh, come on, so close. Just keep the pressure on him right there. Yep. He might make one more run right here if he does go easy on him. Oliver, you film him. I am. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna come under the boat. He's gonna come under the boat right here. Keep your rod tip down. Keep your rod tip down. Back up. He's under the boat. Just keep your keep your rod as down as low as possible. Okay, good. Swabby, he's in front now. Back, 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 back. Oh, light leader, golly. All the moon right there. If I had a dart, I'd have darted I know him. it. I know it. What's going through your mind? Oh my God. He wishes he had a free workout. This is honestly kind of like playing offensive line where the best thing that can happen is that the expected happens, you know? <laughs> but everything in between could be an absolute tragedy where I don't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> hey, let's go, go around the back. One good thing about your arms being eight feet long is that, I mean, forward, forward. Gosh, that's a stinking giant. Only thing I can tell you is be super careful yep. with with when you when you go to pull. Just think about I'm easing him my way. There you go. Good. Oh, 
gonna be a fourth quarter fish. Ah. I told you it's gonna be an hour minimum. Yeah. I know it's gonna be really frustrating. Yeah. Not to put maximum pressure. Here, hold your rod down. There you go. There you go. It's just everything. Yeah. You get stronger, and all your gear gets weaker. This. Okay, okay, down, all the way under, all the way under. You gotta back up, you gotta back, back, back. Now forward this way. You're good, you're good, that way. I'm sweating just thinking about how light all of our tackle is. Don't make me sweat even more. <laughs> oh, she's so angry. He's like tired and angry. Go get him. Go get him. Come on, Pedro. Come right to this side here. You're going to bring him right to the corner here. Him. Watch out, Aubrey. Watch out, you're late. This is it. This is it right here. Yes! Look at this! Are you freaking kidding me? Woohoo! Alejandro Villanueva! In the words of Robin Arrington, freak yeah! This is a massive Dorado. So I'm not gonna try to clean it in one fillet. I'm gonna clean it in sections. Look how hard his skin is. And normally I use a much smaller knife than this, but this is a massive fish. So let that blade run right down on the edge of the backbone. Beautiful piece of fish, and you see how manageable that is? Nice and manageable. Cutting from the outside in, extremely tough. And you need it to be like that because these fish are fighting off, you know, marlin and all kinds of other predators out there, and they've got to have very tough skin. See that? That's a big red bloodline. We're gonna cut it in here. Don't cut through the skin. And then you're just gonna flay it off, just like that. There we go. This is some garlic powder, a little salt, a little pepper, a little loving goodness. We call it a love potion, folks. I don't care how you put it on, just put it on. Let's oil our grill. You'll see why in a minute. Oh man, it already smells good. That smells good, good. Okay, you guys, I gotta give it up to my boy, Kevin Zarnowski. He caught his PB today, bro. Two, two. <laughs> two. two PBs. <laughs> and I'm really jealous because he makes bomb sauces. Honey. So you're adding soy sauce in the honey. Yeah, just because chunk of wasabi, probably not going too heavy. Okay. While he mixes, right. we're gonna recap. He's got about a half a cup of honey, about a cup of soy sauce, 
and a whole handful of wasabi. So no sinus issues later tonight, y'all. What's next? Cilantro. Cilantro, love it. And then just a few things along. All right, well, I guess that's moving. It's all cooked up nice, put it on this platter. Now we're just gonna take and pour our sauce all over the top of that. Just like that, yes sir. I was ready to eat. Everybody's here, this is all some of the staff from Buena Vista Sport Fishing Lodge. We got Alejandro, we got Kev, Aubrey, and I would like to reiterate that Kevin and Alejandro caught their PBs today, bro. So, big props to them. Now let's see how they like the fish. <laughs> Uy, que bueno. Uy, no bueno ir. Wow. Really good. Thank you. You like that? Love it. Yeah. Ah, look at that tortilla. Tito. Yeah. Que bueno. Ah, rico. Muy delicioso. Delicioso. Look, I saved over an open fire for three days to make these. <laughs> Oh, look at Aubrey, he comes out with the goods. Gracias Alejandro por agarrar pescado. Hombre, claro que sí. Dale gracias Alejandro, claro que sí. Tortillas tres tiempos. Tortillas tres tiempos. Muy buena. Bro, do you work out? Bro, yeah. Crossfit. Crossfit. Is this some Crossfit I've been probably when I was fishing, bro? Are you kidding me, dude? I only eat once a day because I'm doing intermittent fasting, bro? Tortillas were a nice touch. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey! Chile. Te gusta? Rico. Chile. Yeah, 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 that was... Malo para mi! Mira! Bueno? Oh, good, good, good. I can't even say enough good things about all these people here. They work so hard keeping this place clean and organized. Every morning when we wake up, we've got coffee and breakfast and really cool stuff. When we're out on the boat, we always have a really nice lunch and snacks and guacamole and ceviche, all kinds of great stuff. And there's just tons of fish. Huge props to our, to our crew, Manuel and Pito with our Captain Lon. Uh, Jody and Susie for running such a nice place. It's a real blessing to be here. Gracias, señor. This young man right here, he's always doing such a jo good job keeping the boats clean. And uh, what a wonderful day, man. I appreciate you guys being a part of this. I'm thankful for having this opportunity. But that's all I've got for tonight. Take care, God bless, and Kev, what? We-